Hello everyone, this is Roxas1359. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X HD Remastered. Last time, we took down Omega in the Omega Ruins, and in this part, we're gonna be tackling the unique boss creations in the Monster Arena. So, as you can see, my stats are 255 in everything that matters, and my armor and weapons are the Celestial Weapons, and the armors that I will be using to fight the Dark Aeons with. So, let us cut real quick, because I had to do some last minute preparations. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with Earth Eater, one of the ones I ended up actually streaming earlier. So, Earth Eater is our first one, and by my luck, it's an ambush where he does his Megaton Punch and kills two of my party members, which means that my strategy is already messed up. So, do not do what I am doing right now. What you should be doing is guarding with Waka, and then what you should be doing is doing Titus's Slice and Dice, because Slice and Dice will knock the Earth Eater over. A full 12 hits with Waka's Overdrive for attack reels does not, for some odd reason. I think it's because it doesn't reach the 50,000 threshold. He counterattacks with Megaton Punch when he is up, so keep that in mind. So we're gonna knock him down right now with Slice and Dice. So, dude, 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 and six. So that knocks him down, so now he won't counterattack with Megaton Punch. Now he will counterattack instead with Flare, with a Reflect, so it is impossible to dodge it because Earth Eater has Auto Reflect on him. So, here comes the Flare, and it's to Waka. And Flare does 2,542 2, damage, or a little bit more than that. And I have 255 in Magic Defense, so keep that in mind. So let's heal up Waka real quick. At the same time, let us quick hit. And here comes the Flare. This time to Titus. But luckily, Titus has Magic Counter, but unfortunately, since there is a reflect spell being done on it. It doesn't activate the magic counter. So let's heal Titus. And let us quick hit. Comes another flare. This one's going to Waka. Let us kill the Earth Eater. He should be dead. I believe this one's going to go to Titus. Nope, to Riku. Okay. And there we go. That takes care of the Earth Eater. Easy, right? Well, if you're farming for luck, which you need to do for the Dark Aeons, you have to grind the Earth Eater an ungodly amount of time because the Earth Eater only drops two Fortune Spheres per overkill. So, for me, with a luck of 151, you can imagine how long it took me to grind the Earth Eater. That's right, took me way too long. Now, in between times, set up everything with pretty much attacking a dingo, have your overdrives set to Victor, so then you can preload your overdrives. That is the best way to do it, although for the next boss, it's not wise to, you know, put our overdrives at all, because for the next boss, Greater Sphere, he counterattacks with something quite nasty if you end up using something like an overdrive on him. So, here is Greater Sphere, which is another enemy you're going to have to grind in order to get the Lux Spheres needed in order to use those Fortune Spheres in the first place. So, Greater Sphere will counterattack any physical attack with Ultima, which is why this battle takes so long, because you have to watch the Ultima animation every single time. Ultima itself doesn't do too much, however, do not use items such as with the use command because if you do and they attack Greater Sphere, what will end up happening is he will counterattack with Hydraulic Press, which does 15 sixteenths of your total health at the time of damage. Hydraulic Press can kill you pretty much, so do not do that. If you end up using an overdrive against Greater Sphere, it will also cause Hydraulic Press to go off. So keep that in mind. If you have Auto Potion on and Trio of Nines, 
going into this that you can use two of Waka's overdrives to pretty much kill Greater Sphere, but that does require you to entrust and that does require you to heal up with auto potion. Since I do not have auto potion, I have auto protect and auto haste as well as auto phoenix. We're not going to be doing that. So this is the long and arduous method of dealing with Greater Sphere, which is rather annoying, I know. And you have to grind this guy not nearly as much as Earth Eater, but you still have to grind him a decent amount in order to be able to, you know, even do this. So pretty much, how do you unlock these monsters in the arenas? You just need to capture 10 of each fiend in every single area, and that includes inside of Sin. And once you do that, you will start unlocking species creation, species conquest, and these boss enemies. You'll know you've created a boss when the old man who's in charge of this arena says that he's created a monster. Now, doing so, you get the first fight free, but do not do that because more likely than not, you are not going to be powerful enough to deal with them. Now, if you get a game, if you get fully KO'd inside the monster arena, it's not a game over. You just lose in the arena and you get bumped back out. I used to, for the longest time, think that it was an instant game over, but luckily it's not. So, you guys sick of seeing Ultima yet? I know I am! What sucks is Ultima's not even that good of a magic move. I mean, it's locked behind four level four key spheres, but it's not even that good of a magic move. And it takes too long. Flare's better. All right, so Waka's down. So let us use a Phoenix down on him. And here's to where we're getting close to where Greater Sphere can attack. This is quite bad because Greater Sphere has two attacks, Hydraulic Press or the ever so lovely Regular Press. Regular Press will instantly kill you, but unfortunately Hydraulic Press is what he tends to do more often. So I'm taking a gamble here. And here comes the Hydraulic Press. Barely survived it, and that's only because my luck stat was so high. So, let us cure, because I am not squandering this Greater Sphere fight after fighting him for so long. All right, so Kiraga. Having the memory key for your cursor and the options is gonna be vital to saving time when fighting Greater Sphere, believe me. So, let's keep fighting. We're just about done with Greater Sphere. Yeah, this has been a long, like what, five minutes for this boss, which is annoying. All right, let us use Quick Hit. I think this might be the last one, if not. No, looks like we've got Two more hits to go on him, probably. Isn't that annoying to constantly have to watch? It is. Why did they do this? And what's worse is if you overkill him, you only get two Lux Spheres. Now, you don't need too many Lux Spheres, but when it comes to Earth Eater, it's bullshit that he only drops two. But there we go. That takes care of Greater Sphere. For the last time, I don't need to fight him anymore. Thank goodness. And they all have the animations of their other boss counterparts, so keep that in mind. So, there we go. That beats Greater Sphere. So who's up next? Up next is Catastrophe. The recolor of... Sin Spawn, not Sin Spawn Gui, but another Sin Spawn, the first one we ended up fighting. So, let's go to original and fight Catastrophe. All of the monsters that are inside the original creations will cost 15,000, except for the final one. Now, how do you unlock the final one, which is Nemesis? You must beat all of these bosses, as well as all the other creations in the monster arena that are unique. 
So pretty much everything in Species Conquest and everything in Arena Conquest, as well as all of the bosses in Original, will unlock Nemesis. Unlocking Nemesis will get you 10 Master Spheres, which is utterly useless in hindsight. I used to think that they were the best thing ever and I could have maxed out my sphere grid with ease, but it turns out they weren't. Master Spheres just unlock every single thing on a note. One node on a grid and any node. They could be used for Lux Spheres, but other than that, they're utterly useless. So, Catastrophe's not even gonna get an attack in, ladies and gentlemen. This is how pathetic he is. And that takes care of Catastrophe. Yeah, that was definitely a Catastrophe right there. As he lied to himself. So, let us heal up for our magic and fight the next of the creatures, which is going to be Thubin. Hello, Thubin. Who is Thubin? Thubin is the one of the keepers that Unaleska sent after us. Pretty much Thubin will counter deck with Condemn every time he is physically attacked. So we're gonna be seeing Condemned a lot for the next uh, four minutes, give or take. It also has another one of Photon Wings, only I think it's called Shimmering Rain inside of for Thubin. And pretty much that will cause Curse and other nasty status ailments, but the only thing that will affect us is Curse. I'm not going to be using overdrives on Thubin because I don't remember if Thubin counterattacks with another move if he's hit with an overdrive, but Thubin's not really doing too much damage to us anyway, and we're doing 99,999 damage to him. I wish we could break the 100,000 threshold. That would make things so much easier for some of the other super bosses in the game. But let us continue to beat up Thubin. I like saying that name too. Thubin! Is Thubin or Th Ubin, if the apostrophe is anything to go by, which is kind of dumb. I'm just gonna keep calling him Thubin. Oh, Thubin! All you're doing is condemning me, and by condemning me, you're condemning yourself. Don't you ever learn, Thubin? Boop. Boop. Eventually, Thubin's gonna get a turn. See? He's got a turn coming up, ladies and gentlemen. We're actually gonna see an attack from this guy besides Condemn. At least it's no Ultima. Ultima, which was annoying. So, let us heal because I didn't know if Thubin's attacks do more damage or not. And, you know, you don't wanna die. So, let us heal with Waka. And let us heal with Riku and her giant shield. And here comes just a regular physical attack, which does 400. Well, I feel dumb. Thubin, you, my expectations. You did not meet them. I do not know how much health Thubin has. All I know is you can really get through all of these bosses by using quick hit. Yeah. That, that is really all you do is use quick hit. Quick hit, quick hit. All we're using is quick hit. Which is rather boring, to say the least. Boop. All you're doing is condemning me and you're condemning yourself, Thubin. Don't worry, the next one we're going to be fighting is actually a unique boss, if I remember correctly. I believe the next one we're going to be fighting is Nesslug. Nyeh, slug. Like Bugs Bunny addressing a slug. Nyeh. What's up, slug? I'm having too much fun with this. All I'm doing is quick hitting. This is the Dark Aeon strategy in a nutshell. Quick hit, quick hit. All you do is quick hit. And don't worry, I believe he's going to get himself another turn soon before I can kill him. In hindsight, I probably could speed these up, but then again, you must endure what it is that you must do in the monster arena, which is quick hit. Quick hit always. Boop. 
Boop. Quick hit. Come on, Thubin, show me something new. Oh, he's got an attack coming. Thubin might actually do something new. Besides condemn. All right, let us heal because something's telling me this new attack is actually going to do some damage. So, white magic. Kiraga. And Kiraga. Rainbow. Okay, that's what it's called. That's not rainbow in the slightest. And that did nothing but curse me. Thubin, my expectations. You don't meet them, so die. And what sucks is I could have, you know, avoided the rainbow in the first place. But you get underdog secret from beating Thubin. I, I'm gonna miss saying Thubin. But now, we got... Nyeh. What's up, Slug? Now, Ness Slug is actually the only unique boss in this entire monster arena. I mean, it's literally got a unique model. Meet Ness Slug, ladies and gentlemen. So, Ness Slug has the move known as Slime. Slime does over 10,000 damage. So, don't let him get Slime off on you. And it also hits multiple targets, so you can get a game over. Now, for the first 2 million, Ness Slug will be out on his shell. But after that, he will retreat inside his shell. When he retreats inside his shell, he becomes immune to physical attack. So you have to use magic or overdrive. So when Ness Slug goes into his shell, we're going to use Walker's overdrive to skip the phase. Because while he's in his shell, he has the ability of regen. Which means he will get back all the health that you took away from him and all the quick hits will be useless. But we're gonna get enough hits in for Nestlug to go into his shell. I believe right now. Nope, yep, it's, nope, that's just Nestlug normally attacking. And Nestlug's going into his shell now because of the counter attack. So as you can see, he gains quite a bit of health back and he's immune to physical attacks. So guard, Slots, attack reels, get rid of that shell. There we go. Say bye bye to that pretty shell, slug. Technically, you're currently a snail. Now we're gonna make you a slug. Yeah. What's up, slug? And Nest Slug comes out. And the shell breaks. Okay, that's ugly. Put the shell back on. Maybe Nestlug isn't a slug. Maybe he's just more of a regular snail. But pretty much, this is the only thing Nestlug can do now is get quick hit to death. That's all he's going to do. And there we go. That takes care of Nestlug. Yeah. What's up, slug? Sorry, I had to do it one last time. For those that don't know, my mom's off in the corner right now recording me while I'm doing my recording and it's annoying, but you get pendulums for beating Nestlug. So, let us heal up. Let us change our overdrives to Victor for Waka, so then we can go and get ourselves an overdrive again because we're gonna need an overdrive for this next boss because the next boss is rather annoying if you don't have an overdrive so two fights against the dingo will fully charge up your overdrive always use this strategy since the dingo is the cheapest of the enemies in order to fight I don't know if you bribe an enemy if that counts for the victor one because technically you didn't kill the enemy but you did bribe them and they did go away and you get experience so, if you could say in the comments if bribing would actually charge up your overdrive if you have Victor, because that would be pretty amazing. Alright, so that takes care of that. Let's get Waka's overdrive back to Comrade, because this next boss will actually charge up our overdrives. And that is the Ultima Buster, which is another familiar enemy. It's in Spongui, and I got ambushed. 
Talk about uh, Lucky on me. Now, since Bungui sometimes has two attacks whenever he attacks, so keep that in mind. He'll also use Ultima and can interchange between Ultima and a regular attack. Just like Sin Spawn Gui, pretty much Ultima has different parts of his body that you have to get rid of. The arms come back, a la penance. The head does not come back. So, get rid of all the arms and then lay loose with... Lay loose with an attack reels. So, let us... A quick hit slots, attack reels. It's very sad that most of these bosses just come to me down to hitting them hard. I just have to hit them really, really hard. So, that does about one point, that does about a million damage right there. So, let's entrust and walk again so we can use another overdrive. Quick hit. Let us quick hit with Riku. Quick hit with Titus. Attack reels. You'll see that since. Since Von Glee. You'll see that Ultima Buster has a lot of health. And if I had gotten this overdrive correct instead of messing it up with two hits, then Ultima Buster would have died. But we're gonna see Ultima Buster use Ultima! Yay! I love this animation, don't you? We've only had to see it for about five minutes when going against Greater Sphere. Thing is though, unlike Greater Sphere, this actually does damage. So, let's quick hit, quick hit. Let's quick hit. I was thinking, should I entrust in Waka and then get another one? I decided not to. So, just keep wailing on Ultima Buster. That's literally all you do. All these bosses come down to quick hit. Don't worry, once we get to Nemesis, we have actual strategy going into that. Which is good to know because, you know, we actually can use strategy besides hit things really, really hard. And here comes the Ultima. You can imagine how much fun this boss is when you can't do 99,999. All right. And I believe a few more hits ought to take care of Ultima Buster. All right. And... No, nope, it looks like we're going to be at this for a while. I was thinking that a few more hits would take out the Ultima Buster, but I guess not. This thing has a lot of health. This thing must have at least four million. That is here. Because I don't want to die. And Riku, you use Kiraga on yourself. And here comes the Ultima. Surprised he's not physically attacking more. Normally he does. But that charged up our overdrives fully, which is nice. So, quick hit. Quick hit. And one more hit ought to do it. Goodbye. Okay, now goodbye. Stop making a liar out of me, game. There we go. That takes care of Ultima Buster. <sighs> I hate it when I'm wrong. But you get winning formula for beating the Ultima Buster. So there is only one unique creation left in the Monster Arena for a boss fight. And it's Shinryu. Which is just Evre, the guardian beast of Bavel, underwater and not zombie. Because zombies bullshit. He counterattacks every time he is physically attacked, so keep that in mind. He has the ability of Eraser, which pretty much is Stone Gaze, but is unprotectable even from Ribbon. So watch out for that, because if you're underwater and you get stoned, then you will instantly shatter, which is annoying when you're underwater. It's also good to have Riku 
trained up because you know you might train up Waka and Titus for their overdrives and then you end up coming into here and if you don't have Riku trained up then you're in trouble and that's not good so let us keep on attacking Shinryu I should be using Waka's overdrive because if I do then that would kill him before he gets a turn but I don't think to do that I think to just keep spamming quick hit which I mean is effective I mean quick hit it's amazing and boop and here comes the eraser I, I don't know why I was calling it a razor it's a race sir so there goes Riku which means it's just up to Titus and Waka which is perfectly fine because we've only got like another less than a minute left of this boss. Boop. 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 And boop. There we go, that defeats Shinryu and the last of the monsters in the arena. I already have Nemesis unlocked, so anyway guys, I'm gonna end it off right here. This has been Roxas1359. Next time, we're gonna tackle Nemesis.